triple negative breast cancer, the facts. Breast cancer is the most common cancer among women. More than 1.67 million women are diagnosed worldwide each year. 15% of all breast cancers are classified as triple negative, known as TNBC. Incidence of TNBC is more common in women under the age of 40 to 50, compared with other forms of breast cancer. Breast cancer is generally classified based on the presence or absence of three receptors known to fuel most breast cancer tumours, oestrogen, progesterone and HER2. A diagnosis of TNBC means that the tumour does not exhibit any of these three known receptors. Some TNBC cells also express a protein called PDL1, which enables cancer cells to avoid the immune response. Knowing the signs and symptoms of breast cancer is essential for early diagnosis and treatment. The key local signs of breast cancer may include a hard lump developing in the breast or armpit, a change in the size or shape of the breast, such as indentation, particularly prominent veins or skin erosion, changes in the skin, such as hardening, dimpling or bumps, redness or an orange peel-like appearance, changes in the nipple, such as retraction, the secretion of unusual discharge or a rash, Risk factors for developing breast cancer include BRCA gene mutations, family history, obesity. A number of factors have been shown to increase a woman's risk of developing TNBC specifically, although further research is required to fully characterize who is most at risk. Women who have never given birth have a 40% lower risk of TNBC than those who have experienced a full-term pregnancy. Little to no breastfeeding and high BMI are associated with increased risk of TNBC. There is an increased likelihood of distant cancer recurrence in TNBC compared with other subtypes. Metastatic TNBC is the most advanced stage of the disease, as the cancer has spread beyond the tissues of the breast to other parts of the body, most likely to the brain and lungs. Currently, chemotherapy and non-HER2-targeted treatments are the mainstay of treatment for metastatic TNBC, although clinical practice patterns vary worldwide. 